to the stage. He's making only his second appearance in the United States. Please put your hands together for K. Ron McMahon. Woo! Basically, the way it works over there is that the tall, intelligent, good-looking people get sent away. Yeah, um, so like I got this sort of the midget ugly visa. So that means, you know, you think you're far away. No, you're actually quite close to the stage. I just look like I'm further away. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it, you know. So yeah, this is the crack. Like, I'm, I'm over here for two weeks holidays. Woo! Yeah. It's, it's so warm over here. Woo! Yeah, go to America again. Get, get, get some sun. Jesus, I should really Google things. I need to Google stuff a bit more. This is a bit weird. You know, but I, I can't believe it. Every time I come up to America, you guys are so hospitable. You're so friendly. It's like, oh yeah, come over. Stay as long as you like. I'm like, wow, are you serious? Because we say the same thing in Ireland. Like, oh, come over. Stay as long as you like. Jesus, I hope they don't. Oh Jesus, they're here. Pretend. I'm going to the table. I'm going to stay for a week and eat us out of house and home. But it's true. Over here, you guys are actually friendly. You actually mean it. Couldn't believe it. I'm not going home. I'm moving in. Yeah. I'm after discovering stuff over here. Like, you know, these jokes. Have you seen them? You know, the peanut. I, I bought about 200 of these. I've a suitcase full of these things. You know? Peanut butter cups. I mean, if peanut butter cups were like, I mean, nobody has this stuff in Ireland, like, honestly. We have peanut butter because we know that makes you fat. But you guys went one step further. You covered that shit in chocolate as well. This is like concentrated. How do we get it? I love this. You guys embrace the idea. And I mean, see, when I'm over here, it's like, it's. I've been over here before. I went to LA, I went to San Francisco. Has anyone been to San Francisco? Yeah. Is it, oh, there's one or two people. Cool, yeah. Because, like, I mean, I didn't notice, but when I got on the plane to head over to San Francisco, I was like, wow, this is amazing. And then somebody on the plane said, You do know that San Francisco is the, is the game capital of America. And I was like, Okay. <laughs> You know, and I was going, ah, that's not true, they're just kind of lying to me, you know. And just as the plane landed in San Francisco, you know, there's a little bump when the wheels land, there's about 25 guys on the plane went, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. But I mean, I'm not used to playing places, like, it's it's never this glamorous for me, you know. Like, this is lovely, you know. Just back in Dublin, like I mean, the last time I was doing a gig, this guy just kind of stood up from his table and just walked across the stage. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm in the middle of town of this San Francisco thing, you know, I was just telling him all, and I was like, what's, what's the story, what, what are you doing? He's like, all right, man, how are you? What are you doing? I know you, don't we? And I'm like, no, you don't, I don't know who you are. And he's like, oh yeah, did I not meet you in prison? And I'm like, oh yeah, you did, yeah. And he goes, so what are you up to? And I said, well, I'm just doing a bit of comedy. And he's like, oh, where are you doing it? <laughs> here. And I goes, oh, right, well, best of luck uh, whenever you start. Yeah. And I said, hey, listen, thanks a million, Thomas. And he's like, he stops. And I was saying, do you remember us talking about San Francisco? And he looks around and I said, you're lovely ass. And he's like, yeah. 
a new sign on the earth? And I said, yeah. And he goes, I have one question for you. How did you know my name? And I says, because it's written on your neck. <laughs> so you know, I'm kind of moving up the world. You guys are super classy. You're lovely people. You know? But I mean, like, you know, so I was, in, I was in San Fran, I was in LA, but the first time I was ever in America, I went to some kind of very a cultural, I had an amazing cultural experience. I went to a place called Alabama. <laughs> is, there anyone, is there anyone from Alabama here? No? Good. Right. Uh, you know, Alabama is a kind of it's a wonderful place. I arrived there and I went, how are you? Look, this is the first time in America. It's amazing. How are you doing? I'm from Dublin, you know, Ireland. And, and he just is this guy standing there, like, you know, I'm just showing something. <laughs> and then after about five minutes, he says, are you talking to me? <laughs> and he says, yeah, do you not hear? I remember I'm from Ireland, I'm from Dublin, it's my first time in America, blah, 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 blah. And he goes, I'm Irish too. And I was like, are you serious? I said, okay, fair enough. I said, oh, we, what part? And he says, you mean there's parts? And I went, no, there's no such thing as parts in Ireland. It's just a rock with a field on top of it in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and we all sit around on the wall and some of us have buckles on our shoes and waistcoats and we have to put on our green hats when you see an American plane landing. Then we go up and go, we got a big gosh, top of the morning to you. Oh, geez, it's great to be Irish. Fiddly Idle Day. Nobody says that. This is all nice. Every time you meet anybody from America, they go, ah, top of the morning. I'm like, what? who says that? <laughs> Nobody in Ireland. You never get up in the morning, oh, hell yeah, mammy, top of the morning. I don't know where this came from, but it must be some kind of, you know, maybe it's from that movie, you know, Darby O'Gill and the Little People. You guys made that movie, then you watched it and you said, oh, that must be what Ireland is like. You know? So there's all these fiddly oily, and I mean, you didn't get Michael Fassbender, the good looking Irish man we have. You didn't get Colin Farrell. Who did you get? Sean Connery. He's not from Ireland. He's Scottish. And I'm like, that's a different country. Paddy Ish. Paddy Ish. Irish, Scottish, well, I mean, you might say we have the same drinking habits, you know. <laughs> Very similar when we're drunk. We both sleep with uh, anybody we like. When we're happy, so, you know. And, uh, see, no, no, that's the mad thing, like, I mean, you know, when you see Americans coming over to Ireland, like, you know, uh, the first thing is that when they arrive, you never know that they're Americans, but there's a couple of giveaways. There's a couple of things you can tell, right? They generally wear a flat cap that's green and it says Guinness or Ireland. <laughs> They've got a green jumper and a big woolly scarf that goes around them about six times, you know. Then they have plaid, checkered, tartan trousers. That's not Irish, that's Scottish. And then, of course, Nike trainers or something, you know. And then they arrive in and they go, hi. I'm Irish! And you go, no, <laughs> there's no way you're Irish, you can forget about it. And then they say, oh no, like, uh, I said, what part of Ireland? And they went, and then they go, uh, why will you tell us, uh, like, do you have any connection, do you have a family name or something? And they say, oh yeah, do you know the Odocrates? And it's like, oh yeah, I know four million people, I know everybody in the country. Oh, so in this stage you just go, oh, you mean Dick O'Doherty? And they go, yeah, Dick O'Doherty. And I said, oh yeah, we know Dick O'Doherty. They're great people, they're great fighters, they're great drinkers. Tell you what, I take you to where the family grew up. And they go, oh, really? And then I get on to a friend of mine and say, Seamus, listen, uh, get the car, go into the shed, right? Pick up a rock that says, um, yeah, get the docker to rock out, put it up, go up to the backfield, stick it in the ditch, and then I'll bring them up and I'll charge them 200 euro to see where the family grew up. Perfect, right? So then I bring them up to the top field and they go, how you look, that's where you were born and that's where your family came from and all this. And they go, oh my God, look, there's a castle on the hill. Does that belong to our family? And I said, no, that's the English. Yeah. And I said, oh, okay. Well, what about all the beautiful green rolling fields? And I 
said no the English on them as well. You see the ditch thing, right? With all the shine and the brambles and the nettles in it. Yeah, that was the bitch your family lived on. Yeah. Oh, oh look, a rock. Oh look, it says the family name. How convenient. It looks like it was written just this morning. Yeah. So you can have that for that, you know? And this is the thing, like, when you're over there and you're meeting the Americans, they say the most wonderful things, because they are nice. But the wonderful thing about you guys is that, like, they say the nicest things and they don't mean anything bad, guys. But they say things like, I love your little country. And you're like, oh, well, thanks very much. That's like a woman on the first night, and you finally take all of your clothes off, and she goes, oh, I love your little penis. <laughs> It's like a real one, only smaller. Because <laughs> everything's bigger in America, you know. Like, the amazing thing about it, like that skyscrapers, the country is massive. It's unbelievable. And I've never seen anybody with such big ass. You know? It's absolutely amazing. You guys get like, it's just a different world, like, you know? So we had some people come over from America, say, and we sent them like, to where they were discovering their roots, and uh, we brought them to Cork, and uh, Cork is like down south, you know, it's like the Alabama of Ireland, basically, right? And uh, so we brought him, and he says, oh yeah, but, uh, you know, I'm going to see finally kind of some shock disease. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, somebody took him out to this kind of housing project middle of nowhere, like, you know, it's all working class, dangerous, kind of scary looking place, you know, and uh, you know, as soon as he walked in, they all the kids were running around, they saw this giant American coming into the place, so they just ate him. <laughs> it's just a convenient thing to do, like, you mean they haven't seen a meal like that in a long time, you know, but they're terrible, you know. So, here's the interesting thing, I want to find out where everybody's from, because I know, like, we're in Whitechapel, is that right, is from Whitechapel here, make some noise if you are. No. Whitehall. 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 Sorry. I know where Whitechapel is. <laughs> I'm from Whitechapel here. No? Oh my god. It sounds lovely, doesn't it? Whitechapel. Okay, Whitehall. Yeah. That's where we keep the lunatics. That's where we keep the lunatics. It was Allentown. Is there people from Allentown here? Oh, there's a few Allentown people around. And is there people from Bethlehem? Yeah? Okay. And is there people from Nazareth? Yeah. yeah, we've got some Nazarethonians here as well, lovely. Okay, is Jesus in the house? I mean, there's, there's, a, lot of, there's a lot of religious references. You know? I mean, I find that, like, you know, when I'm over here, it's a constant in, it's a constant in the stuff. I mean, every time you get here, you find it. Like, Discovery. I mean, nothing you eat there resembles any food I've ever seen, but oh my god, the it tastes amazing. And apparently, like, I had an emotional moment when I finished my place. I ate everything. I nearly ate the place as well. And then we had a pecan waffle at the end, you know. And, and uh, you know, Mary, she, she, she got out the old, uh, you know, the maple syrup. She drowned. We split it in half, you know. You know, we split it out too hard, they can say, well, I'm not going to put it on the I'm just going to use three little trumpets. And it's like, no, that's the first thing. And uh, so I started eating, I went, ah, oh, balls of this. And I pulled it all the way out. And I mean, at the end, there was a little moment, there was a rare thing when I was actually silent for the first time in my life. I actually shut up. And then about five minutes later, I went, that's just. <laughs> and if you're stuck at any time, if there's any trauma in your life, just go for it. just so much in the end. It's lovely. So honestly, I've only I've only got a few minutes up here because I want to bring in some fantastic acts this evening and chat to me too. And uh, I, I was talking to friends of mine at home and I was saying, guess what? I'm gonna be doing that gig, it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna do a gig over there. I was gonna be and they said, what do you want? <laughs> I need new friends. Exact Amanda. Yeah. So let me guess. Where are you guys from? Allentown. Yeah. Excellent. Because I mean, you know, I've got so much material on Allentown, but I'm gonna have to go now and come back and then I'll chat to you all about Allentown. It's just as much material as I have on my channel. Yeah. <laughs> so 
Ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to do is before we bring out the absolutely wonderful fight that you can see, blow your mind with each other, ladies and gentlemen. So, will you guys start clapping over here and just kind of make it a little bit more and shake the ball down? And then will you bring it down this side?